Mitch's job is to keep me away from the ball, all right? So there's two ways you can approach this. This is about owning space, getting used to the concept of your feet being here, then they might need to be there, aiming just for strength, but you can't stay there forever, all right? That's a non-mobile position. Then back to here so you can move. So you're going there, there, your feet are moving the whole time. Not one size fits all. So that's the habit, all right? The habit here is to be able to try and get your opponent out of the way, shift their hips, flick their hips. That is not the way to do it because that is a free kick in a game. All right, so you're gonna think way, your way through frustration, think your way through fatigue, think your way through real annoyance where you actually wanna go bang and give him an ear massage. Try and get him off the ball legally, stay over the ball by using your feet and your core. Three seconds on, swap, swap, swap. You're doing five lots each. Three, two, one, hit it, go! That's a free kick. You throw him out of the way, it's a free kick. Shift him. Good though, you're going well. Great start, great start. Don't go to ground. Keep your feet. Stay up. Keep your feet. Stay up, that's it. No good to us on the deck. Five goes each. Thanks, Hannah. Okay, a little bit. Who's finding that sometimes if you're getting around you with a bit of foot speed? They are. There's an alternative. If you can't do the ring around a Rosie as quick, take their line. So if I've got Sammy trying to get around me and he gets around over here, over this side, step into him. Right? Come across, Sam. Step in. Take his line. So he runs into this. Keep taking their line to the ball. That's what we're practicing. Go. Stay strong, don't get beat. Good. 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 Keep your feet, Timmy. Get that leg across. Move and you get your leg across. So don't fall back. In. You decide when you pick it up. Sit. Yeah, don't get foot tight. His arms. Sit. Take it away from the tackle. Pick it up, Sammy, and then get it out. Right, if you bring it into your body, that's holding the ball every time. Test the tackler. When I pick it up now, all right, so the tackle's coming. So we've established that. Is that a stronger position? All right. And I start to go this way, Finley's got me, hadn't he? Eventually he's gonna flip me off my feet at some stage because you can't slide like that, eventually one foot's gonna leave the ground and then you're vulnerable and you're gonna get tipped in the tackle. If Finley gets me here and I'm out there and I wrench through, have I got a chance to find a teammate? Yeah. All right. So if I rip through, so as he's got me, I rip through and that's enough time to get it out. One, I've got more vision on play, I can find a teammate. Two, if I really rip through, I just might dislodge an arm. So it's that, rip out, go. Rip out. Dealing with fight and the tackle. So good for you, this good. stuff. Good. Good. Yeah, the tackle. Oh, there you go. Nice. Physical. Good. Good. Let's think of the sequence. First thing. keeping my opponent off the ball. You watch a good player around a stoppage, this is often the first position they're in. It'll either be in front, or it'll be able to move your opponent out of the way, or own space from the side. But it takes their line and you get first crack at the ball. Second phase was, when you pick it up and get tackled, that you get the ball out there. True? Third phase, pick it up, tackle, and wrench through the tackle. Strong base. Next one is try and pick it up, fight the tackle and run out of the tackle. You got it? Go. Pick it up, take it away, and then run out of the tackle. Good. Good. So as soon as you brought it in, lock. Good. It's a good matchup for you, Peppy. Got too many on the ground. Up. Good, Amy. Okay, coming a bit closer. Last drill. Then we're going to get you into... All right, oh, Zacho. Right here, mate, with your footy. Stand there. Joel, you're on the line here. This is how far I want you apart. All right, Joel, when I say go, 
You're going to run straight at him and wrap him up. And the key here is one, two steps, head out of the way, and get your shoulder into his chest. All right? You've got to be tackled and then find a way to get out of it. Yeah. Make sense? You can't run away, you've got to wait to be tackled. Go. Right? And you've got him. That's it. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Nice, so he could have got a handball out. Why could he get a handball out? Put his arms up. He got his arms up, so you got to try and pin it out. Let yourself get tackled, fight it. Go. In pairs, metre apart, tops. Metre apart. And fight it, don't run away. Doesn't matter who does it. Go. Fight it, go. All right, everyone back in. Good learning here. If Eamon comes and tackles me, and I go like that, I'm in a lot of trouble. Don't cop your lot in footy. As the tackle's coming, go. Step into him. What did I do then? Tackle, go. Step in, and then fight it. Play with physicality. Don't just cop it like a bag of jelly. Step in and whack him back. Hit with your shoulder. Step in. Hit the tackler. I'm just preparing you for what footy is, that's all. Good. She nasty. It's physical. Paddy Cripps makes this shit look Boys. easy, but he still does the same stuff. You go tackle. Nice. Low or high, did you go low or high then? Sort of roll up in. Whoa. Get right in. Good, keep your feet. You won't get hurt, seriously. Make a different play. He says, good. Bit of physical stuff today, Maxie. Step into the tackler. Hit him. Hit him and then fight him. 